We'd usually be joking in this intro on the hump, but today, I'm sorry, it's no laughing matter. A report uh, by Entertainment Assist into the mental well-being of people in the Australian entertainment industry is out, and it's pretty grim news, and we need to talk about it. All right, before we get into this uh, rather grim topic, it's time to welcome the panel. Sophie, how are you going? I'm very well. Julius, welcome yep. back. And Meg, lovely as always. Hello. All right, so before we get into this, let's have a look at what's happening in ProTech News. This week, we report how the industry will double down on crew suicide. The Road Crew Association have just appointed Howard Freeman as president as mainstream media focus on our appalling suicide rate. Also today, we roll out this week's super prize for the big haul at Entech. This is where every city we give away thousands of dollars worth of really cool stuff. Today's announcement is the LSC Mantra Light Console. One will be won at each city during NTech next February. Subscribe to our ProTech News email at juliusmedia.com. MA Lighting presents the MA Network Switch. Lighting networking made easy. Designed to simplify the setup and management of today's lighting networks, the MA Network Switch is backed by the industry-leading MA Technical Support Team. Standard lighting terminology is used throughout, allowing most common lighting protocols to be filtered via a web interface designed specifically for lighting technicians. More information on the new MA Network Switch, as well as other MA Lighting products, can be found at malighting.com. Okay, everybody, the uh, Entertainment Assist report uh, done with the uh, help of Victoria University. Uh, the results are out. They polled 3,000 people from across our industry. So we're talking performers such as yourselves, Megan Sophie, and technicians such as ourselves, Julius. Uh, people from across broadcast, live, theatre, and everything uh, looking at the mental health of the industry. And there's some really horrible numbers. Uh, this is all uh, against the general population. Uh, suicide ideation is six times greater. Suicide planning is four times greater and suicide attempts are more than double. These are really shocking numbers. Mm. Um, drug and alcohol usage is, is incredible. Uh, 11 to 19 standard drinks a day, and you know how that whole two and four is you know, reasonable. Double the rate compared to the general population. Methamphetamine, eight times. Wow. Ecstasy, yeah. seven. Coke, cocaine, 12. Yeah. Marijuana use is only four times greater. I guess that's mildly <laughs> terrible news. Painkillers for non-medical reasons, seven times. Tranquilizers, nine times. Uh, look, the positives that everybody is passionate about what they do, but they have difficulty negotiating a negative and critical work environment. Mm. Now, I think that's the thing that surprised me the most. I mean, the drug use didn't surprise me at all, having yep. worked in that part of the industry and been part of that myself. But I never thought my work environment was critical or negative. I mean, what have you found as a performer, Meg? Um, oh, there's so many things I could say here. The, it, just about every actor or creative that I know of and know all has some form of depression or mental health issue. Now, is that just, pick, is it their makeup and they are naturally inclined to go into the arts? I mean, there's a lot mm. of people with depression, etc. But I think just coming back from a, a performance point of view, it, it is so competitive mm. and mm. you have to have a really healthy sense of who you are and go, okay, every decision that's made as far as who is chosen to go on a television show, a commercial, you have to be realistic and say it is a business decision because they're, just because you've got a pretty face or, you know, it's it's a total business decision. Mm. It's taken me a long time to get my head around that. You don't take it personally, etc. So, I mean, that's just from my point of view. Um, and I think yep. it's a consistent thing, see thing that mm. you're not always going to have that regular work. No. It's, Every gig could be a last down. one. So yeah. mentally, mm. you have to be in a good place to be able to handle that and mm. then save a certain amount. And it mm. just it, it's hard with people that have reliable jobs that can get things like loans around you mm. and uh, parents that are proud mm. <laughs> of your, of your yeah. work. Get a real job. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that's yeah. contributing yeah. to just a general low level of anxiety or a high mm. level of anxiety yep. just as a constant undercurrent and to everybody. Fi and the finances, that's yeah. the thing. Mm. It's, mm. Was, am I going to get another pay packet? Mm. Blah, 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 blah. So if you're saying we're talking about getting home loans. So, mm. yeah, I mean, if you are so passionate about it, you can't do anything else. But there's got to be that other avenue of like, okay, well, I'll be a barista or I'll, I'll work mm. full time. Or, you know, you've got to work that out yourself. But, um, yeah, I couldn't imagine being in anything else. I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones. Mm. But I still kind of have to struggle with yeah. the, the money. And I'm yeah. trying to but, hey, you've always got a gig here. 
Mm. I know. And, I do and that, you. that other part time gig you do. <laughs> in the beauty salon. That's the one. The yeah. waxing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just Keeping coming on. back to the, I mean, the the drug use again. As I was not surprised at all to read it. I think um, Julius, we've both been around crew for a very long time, and I, I wouldn't have needed a university study to tell me there was an average and higher level of drug use uh, in the in the crew. Um, and again, I say this as someone who's participated in that lifestyle and, and been part of that. And I ended it when I left the industry or left that part of the industry. Does the drug use lead to the mental problems or are the mental problems starting the drug use? And, mm. and, and what do you think of that culture that it's basically, I mean, the working culture I was around, just everybody took drugs, often, yeah. mm. usually while we were working. Um, oh, that's not safe. No, it wasn't. And, um, but we all did it. It was just part of it. It was accepted. Uh, I was very young. Uh, and, uh, it, but it was just completely part of the wallpaper. Like mm -hmm. nobody yeah. remarked on it at all. It was totally normal. It was yeah. as absolutely as normal as somebody having a drink at the end of a working day. Same with the musician lifestyle, yeah. I think. We we drank and a lot of most of the crew took drugs. I actually yeah. didn't do any drugs, mm. but I made up for a drink. Mm. Um, the other interesting thing about the report, which is quite credible, um, whilst it surveys the low income levels, mm. it doesn't talk about the stress factors of things like tax liabilities. Mm. Mm. And I know for a fact that most people in this industry have a tax problem mm. yeah. where they owe, they haven't put a return in. Yeah. yeah. And the tax officer's often looking for them. Mm. That's oh, very stressful. Sure yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. So when we come back, we may be going to talk about some solutions and what we can do for each other. Three new fixtures from high-end systems were recently released at the LDI show in Vegas. First up, the SolarWash FX2000. It features a 600 watt bright white LED engine, 35,000 lumen output, a wash beam optical design, fixed colour wheel plus CMY CTO system, rotating animation gobo wheel, 540 by 265 degree pan tilt, iris and two zoom modes offering 5 to 45 degrees in beam mode and 10 to 50 degrees in wash mode. Secondly, the SolarSpot Frame 2000 adds a framing shutter system to the flagship SolarSpot Pro 2000. The fixture's 600 watt bright white LED engine outputs 35,000 lumens and is also available in a high CRI 6,500K version that produces 29,000 lumens. In addition to the framing shutter system, the fixture features rotating and fixed gobo wheels, rotating prism, iris, frost, 5 to 45 degree zoom wash mode, autofocus, linear animation and a fixed colour wheel and a CMY CTO system. Lastly, the Solar Theatre is designed for concert halls, broadcast studios, theatres and other acoustically critical applications that require virtually silent performance. Solar Theatre extends the power of high-end's bright white light LED engine to television, film and theatre LEDs worldwide. It has an output of 26,000 lumens, CTO linear colour correction, rotating Gobo Wheel 7 Plus open, framing system, 12 to 38 degree zoom, CMY colour mixing, fixed colour wheel, fixed Gobo Wheel 8 Plus open, iris, frost and linear prism. Now, welcome back. Now, if you find yourself in trouble for financial, medical, mental health reasons, Julius, what are some of the things people in our industry, what are the resources that are available to us? What, who can we ask for help? Okay, Support Act mm -hmm. are a benevolent fund that can dish out emergency funds. Mm -hmm. um, one thing we do want to stress is uh, there are no interest loans schemes mm -hmm. available and Centrelink's website points to some of these. Mm -hmm. The idea being that if your refrigerator or washing machine goes on the fritz, you do not go to one of the payday lenders, no. do not go to cash converters or any of those guys because they are vultures who will mm. prey upon you. Mm. And it's always the, the poorest people that pay the greatest amount of interest. Yeah. 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 Um, also, the Australian Road Crew Association, uh, via their Facebook page, which is invitation, but mm. um, get in there and get support. 
Mm. Move amongst all of us. Don't be afraid to ask for it. Mm. I've seen a lot of support given. Mm. And Australian Road Crew Association can also assist crew and direct them into the Support Act channel. Mm. Um, But it's really important. The final thing is um, talk to the tax office before they talk to you. You've really got to embrace that. Mm. because it's not going to go away. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, more generally, um, most, I guess most people would know about these uh, organisations, but if you're suffering from depression, uh, beyondblue.org.au. Uh, also, if you need to talk to someone, lifeline.org.au. And if you're looking for help with substance abuse issues, um, there's a website, www.adin.com.au. It lists all the health and support services available around Australia. You can search uh, by postcode. But yeah, I think the overwhelming message is if you feel like you need help, ask for it. I think a lot of people we've lost or have real bad problems that they just didn't ask for help. Yeah. yeah. yeah so anyway. they, thought, they thought people didn't care, but we do. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I think that's the message from this report. As an industry, we need to start looking, at each, looking after each other a bit better. And there are so many people feeling the same pain. Well, yeah, according to these numbers, it's, mm. it's most of us in the industry. So mm. it's a huge number and we've got to do something about it. Yeah. So, okay. On that somber note, we're going to have a brief look at a preview of what's in Gearbox this month and be right back. Jimmy. Tiny guy. Yeah, the tiniest moving light or moving head that Martin has ever made. This is the MH8 Mini Profile and as you can see, it's part of the Rush by Martin range. Now, I don't know if you remember a few years ago, we actually went to the the Sydney launch of the Rush series, which was held in a nightclub, which was very fitting because when it first came out, the whole intent of Rush was to, to be sort of an affordable range of nightclub style lighting. All right, so uh, yeah, that was just a preview of uh, what's in Gearbox. If you wanna see the full video, please uh, go to this URL. And uh, that's all we have time for this week. We'll uh, hopefully see you again next week. Bye. Bye.